Now, a Nigerian singer and biker, Ibaide Joy, who is on a solo ride from Kenya to Lagos, has arrived in Cameroon. She relocated to Kenya a few years ago and has received lots of attention online for her creativity and enthusiasm. Ibaide is from Edo State. She decided to fulfill her fantasy by embarking on a solo ride. This will mark the first leg of her many travels as she intends to pursue another experience that will commence from Nigeria to Morocco. She began the three-month journey on the 10th of March, traveling through Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, Zambia, Namibia, Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and is currently in Yaoundé, Cameroon. Ibade Joy joins me now on World Now to share her experience and challenges on the road so far. Ibaide, this is almost four months on the road. What a trip it's been. Talk to us about what inspired you to get on this and what experience has been so far. Okay, uh, it's been an amazing trip. What inspired me to get on this trip is the need to feel something, the need to feel alive, the need to have a particular thing I think about and to do it, a particular thing I plan and to do it, the need to conquer challenges, and that was what inspired this in the first place. And it has been so amazing. It has been way better than I ever planned, ever envisioned. I, I, I've had it really, really good so far. Mm, that's great. And, you know, following your stories on social media, I see you had to change roads at some point. Uh, what led to that, and how do you feel having to eventually cross about 10 countries to arrive at your destination? I feel great. I feel like a bag of gold. I feel like I can do anything. I had to change my route because, um, of course, I was getting information every day before the trip. I had begun planning this last year. I remember going to all right, it appears there's some connection issue from the Bidens end. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we're able to reconnect with her and get more on this very adventurous journey she's on. It's a three-month uh, planned trip. It's kind of exceeding three months now, but she's making good progress currently uh, in Yaoundé, Cameroon. And, of course, she's heading for Nigeria, bringing the glory home. And beyond that, she's also hoping to go from Nigeria to Morocco, this is one uh, very adventurous and you can also say fearless lady. And uh, one of the things I would have also loved to speak with Abide about is the fact that she appears to be a bundle of talent. She's not only a biker, she, she also rides the tricycle and she's a singer. Abide, I understand you're back. So you want to take it from where you stopped and talk to us about uh, the reason for changing your route? But if you can hear me, I am asking about, you know, why you change your rules. So talk to us about what led to that. Okay, I changed my route because I learned that South Sudan was very unsafe. I thought I could bypass uh, some things and be safe, but no. And then I couldn't get a lot of things like hotels and stuff. I knew it just wouldn't be good enough. And I wanted to keep my head, so I decided to change my routes. And when I got enough information about my routes, at that time I had Italian friends who were, just, who were doing exactly this route. They gave me first-hand information, and then I asked other people, and then they confirmed it. I just knew it was the best route. Of course, uh, land ended somewhere, and I had to shift the bike along the way. But that was why I changed my route, just to keep my head above my shoulders when I eventually get to Nigeria. Mm. And Ibadi, you talk about that life-altering experience you had in your 20s, which is actually one of the things fueling you to embark on these adventurous journeys. Would you like to share that with us and how much of inspiration it has been for you? All right. It's been a ride a and the, well, it's been a great ride for her by day. Eventually, the journey kicked up on the 10th of March, and she's been updating her followers on social media, telling them about how it's been from one part of Africa to another. But, of course, that one challenge she's spoken about, 
about, you know, still needing visas to access different countries, you know, regardless of being in the same continent, the expectation would be that there will be some more ease with accessing, you know, these uh, countries, African countries, you know, so far you're able to prove that you are actually uh, an African, a citizen of Africa, a citizen of a country in the continent of Africa. But we wish Abide Joy all the best as she hopes to, you know, uh, conclude this solo trip and bring the glory home.